Not all computers are born equal, and if you have a lower end rig, you might need to look at lightweight Linux distros that work well on older computers. There's so much variety on the Linux platform that it can actually be hard to choose the best lightweight distro for your purposes, so we picked six out of the best of 2018. Hi, this is Phil from Make Tech Easier, and this is six lightweight Linux distros for old PCs. Don't throw away that old Pentium 3 tower and CRT monitor just yet. While that old laptop in the closet may not be able to run Windows 10 or Mac OS Mojave, it doesn't mean it's destined for the dump. Many Linux distributions are made specifically for utilising the ancient underpowered hardware found in older machines. By installing these lightweight distros, you can breathe new life into an old PC thought to be long past its prime. Here are the best lightweight Linux distros that we've picked out from the pile. Alpine. One of the lesser known but nevertheless brilliant lightweight Linux distros is Alpine. Weighing in at uh, under 130 megabytes, Alpine was destined originally to be used for virtual servers, so you won't find any cruft or unnecessary software baggage here. It has a sensible and accessible update cycle, and its package format, APK, no, nothing to do with Android, is convenient for flagging issues and making iterations. You can choose whether to install Alpine to disk or whether to just run it from RAM, making it perfectly portable and it's very security focused thanks to a hardened kernel. It may not be as feature rich as the other distros in this list, but Alpine is right at the peak when it comes to security. It updated to the MUSL libc library a few years back too, so is right on point when it comes to the kind of stability and robustness you'd expect from a modern Linux distro. Lubuntu. If Lubuntu sounds familiar, it's probably because it is based on the popular Linux distro Ubuntu. Despite their similarities, Lubuntu differs in a few key ways. Lubuntu comes with LXDE, a more lightweight graphical desktop environment than Ubuntu's Unity interface. Lubuntu also trims the fat where it comes to bundled software in order to cut down on size. Don't fret though, you can still install software from the Ubuntu repositories. While Lubuntu isn't as tiny as some of the other distros on this list, the fact it's based on Ubuntu should make troubleshooting fairly easy. Minimum system requirements are Pentium 4 CPU, Pentium M, AMD K8 or newer. RAM is about 512 megabytes or one gigabyte was recommended and hard drive three gigabytes and six gigabyte recommended. Puppy Linux. A build of Linux that is so small it doesn't even require a hard drive to be installed on, Puppy Linux can be run comfortably on dated hardware. Puppy Linux is a fairly robust and complete OS, despite the fact it's designed to run entirely from a system's RAM. While it doesn't come bundled with a ton of software, Puppy offers a collection of applications that would be suitable for general use tasks. Its small size enables it to boot from virtually any form of removable media, such as USB drives, SD cards and optical media. Any files created or modified will be saved to the same device that the OS is on. So when running Puppy Linux from a CD, files can be saved to the same CD, provided the disk drive supports disk burning. Minimum system requirements, 333 MHz CPU, 64 megabytes of RAM with 256 megabytes with 512 megabyte swap is highly recommended. And there's no data on what sort of hard drive, but pretty much whatever you got. Tiny Core. No list about small Linux distros would be complete without Tiny Core Linux. It's notable for its incredibly small size across three different core types. Core, aka Microcore Linux, comes in at only 11 megabytes. However, it is without a graphical desktop. Tiny Core weighs in at 16 megabytes and comes with a graphical desktop environment. Core Plus is the largest at 106 megabytes and is essentially Tiny Core with additional functionality like Wi Fi support. Designed to run completely within a system's RAM, Tiny Core is the definition of minimalist computing. Because of its bare bones approach, almost all users will require internet access to install additional software. Minimum system requirements, Intel i486DX, Pentium 2 recommended. RAM, 28 megabytes, microcore, 46 megabytes for Tiny Core, and 128 megabytes recommended. Again, no data on the size of the hard drives. LXLE. The website for LXLE sums up their philosophy in four words. Revive that old PC. 
LXLE is based on Lubuntu and also uses the LXDE desktop environment. It's designed to be simple, familiar and elegant. For positioning itself as a turnkey OS for aging machines, LXLE aims to be the perfect substitute for those familiar with Windows XP, Vista and 7. LXLE prides itself on being simple to install without the need to do much tinkering after installation is complete. LXLE covers most computer users' everyday needs while offering a number of tweaks to improve performance. It also adheres to the same LTS or long-term support distribution schedule as Ubuntu and Lubuntu to ensure hardware and software support. Minimum system requirements, Pentium 3, Pentium 4 recommended, RAM 512MB or 1GB recommended and hard drive should be about 8GB. Arch Linux Strong supporters of the KISS Keep It Simple Stupid principle, the development team behind Arch Linux focuses on minimalism. Arch Linux is not for the faint of heart. One of its guiding philosophies is that the end user will be willing to put in the effort to understand the system's operation. This boils down to being really comfortable with the command line as you'll be using it for virtually everything. Basically Arch Linux is like building your own custom operating system. Whereas other distros walk you through the installation through a tidy graphical interface, Arch requires you to put a bit of effort in. Arch provides the foundation, it's up to you to compile everything around it. This allows users to build an incredible lean machine or not, depending on your needs. Arch Linux is more of an investment, however, you can build your system to your liking and learn a lot in the process. So, what's your favourite lightweight Linux distro? Let us know in the comments. Okay, if you like this video, then please lightly smack the like button, leave a comment and also perhaps visit our Make Tech Easier YouTube channel for more guides, tutorials and lists about all things tech. We cover Windows, Linux, Mac, iOS, Android and everything else in between, so we'll most definitely have something for you. Plus, if you feel so inclined, hit the subscribe button to never miss our latest videos. And also, you can click the notification bell to be alerted immediately when videos hit the channel. Okay, as always, thanks for watching. That's it for now. See you next time.